I think we got it right when we started our DEI, when we proposed our model, and when we set out to do the DEI initiative um, by calling it an integrated team approach. So instead of thinking about what goes on in the classroom and then what goes on in the tutoring center and the labs and everything else as separate and distinct, we really try to think of them as being more integrated. So, and not just the students, but integrating the faculty um, and the students and the faculty with the tutoring center folks, the tutors themselves, getting peer mentors into the classroom, having everybody sort of on the same page and in the same conversation about on course, which is one of our activities that we do as a supplemental course um, to help students think about themselves and being in charge. And um, so we didn't want those conversations just to be occurring in one particular initiative, but to be occurring across everybody that was involved with anything related to getting developmental ed students through developmental ed and getting them into the college level courses. Mm -hmm. So to me, I mean, we called it teaching and learning integrated team. That was the idea. Sometimes it feels like separate um, initiatives, but the idea always is they're all for the same um, greater goal that we call student success. Did this mean a, a new role for faculty, and how did you bring that together? It, it did mean a new role for faculty because it was a new set of conversations. Um, not that they weren't talking across with each other, but now talking with the tutors, having peer mentors in their classroom, I think that was very new, and having the math dev ed and the English dev ed faculty talk with each other about developmental ed in general, even faculty who don't teach dev ed but eventually have the dev ed students once they've made it through. Yeah, a whole new opportunity for new conversations. I don't know if I would say new roles, but new conversations, if that, mm -hmm. if that means a new role. Yes. Yeah. You're in an area where there's a multi-campus initiative. You're able to collaborate. Is there some examples of, of how you've been able to learn from each other and share with each other? Absolutely. <laughs> and at first, I don't think we liked that. Everybody was doing something different. We really wanted everybody to do exactly the same so that we could pool the data and have you know a bigger cell size you know, for doing analysis. But then we realized that each campus really could be its own set of incubator for ideas. And the, the best example is the peer mentoring. We started mentoring at one campus with faculty and staff who were mentoring students. And then it got too big. We didn't have enough faculty and staff. So we started using students as peer mentors to mentor um, incoming students. We did that all at one campus, two or three iterations of mentoring before we rolled it out to the other campuses. So the others were just, you know, didn't have any kind of mentoring. We tried it at Metro and then moved it on to the other campuses. So, yeah, we, we learned from each other. We're also learning that there's different approaches to some of the um, uh, uh, paired courses, that it works differently on the three campuses, um, and some are having more success than others. And it's the analysis that's telling us, is it really the approach or is it the students, you know, that are different across the campuses? Because our three campuses are very different. But it's the same language, it's the same goal, it's the same conversation about it's all for student success. Mm. So how are you incorporating student perspective into some of the practice or policy changes? Well, we've had students um, that have been uh, these peer mentors, and so they come and they join the core team a couple of times a year and talk to us about their experiences in the classroom with the students. We've had a set of student ambassadors that we've used as advisors to the core team, so they're telling us what their experiences are. We've done a couple of retreats just with 10 or 12 student um, either peer mentors or student ambassadors so they can games that we've done with them, conversations that we've had with them, ask them questions like, if you could be president for the day, what would you do differently at Tri-C? And we've actually videotaped a lot of that and have shared it at conferences, and um, it's pretty interesting to hear the student voice. Mm -hmm. It's interesting to talk to the folks who, uh, who also are in similar roles to me, trying to share data, um, do some predictive analyses on who might be successful in particular initiatives or not, and to find out that everybody may have the same concern about who's, whose data is it and how defensive do people get about the data, but just um, getting ideas of how people have shared their data across the college in data summits. Um, in, uh, in various presentations um, and getting the faculty themselves involved in asking new questions of, you know, we always have a lot of data. 
if we keep asking the same questions, we're not going to learn anything new. So having people ask new questions of that same data really is a big idea that I'm going to take home. Mm. Are there any pieces now that you'd like to see change, like the, the placement process or the, uh, what, what students experience when they mm -hmm. first come to your college? It's a big place, and yeah. even though it's three, four campuses now and 31,000 students, many students will say, it's the first time I've asked this question, or it's the first time I've had this, this experience. So really taking a good hard look at the intake process. Many times you think of the intake being when students come to orientation, it's a fun day, um, they do a lot of activities, but for many of our students, they come on campus way before orientation. They go in, take a placement test, and then it feels kind of empty because they don't really have any follow-up or conversation with anybody until orientation, which could be three or four weeks later. So just taking a good, hard review and look at how we do our intake so that that very first experience they have with the college is a positive one, and they understand that this intake, this test, it's going to get you on that path that you want to be on, and, and that's what we want to um, continue with them through their whole time at the college, rather than, again, feeling separate and distinct kind of activities that don't go into a very holistic approach to the student's experience.